Hello everyone, welcome on back to Court Farms. I'm just getting the uh, daily riding done for uh, Thor, but then we'll be hitting this big field and uh, doing some seeding, planting. It's 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 time for that field, since that is going to be sorghum. Make sure I was correct on my timing. Yes, April. Okay. We do have the one uh, thing of clothes to sell. So we'll, we will be getting that sold today. We do uh, still have that trailer full of seed and fertilizer. So I'll probably just take it to value view. It's not too far from here. And I can just take it with the, the tally handler. Right now, the, the price for clothing at Value View is stagnant, so it's not really a, a must-sell thing right now. And I'm pretty sure we really don't have any more... Uh, we do have a decent amount of wool in there, but it's not a lot. Oh, and we do have that grass field to uh, windrow. The alfalfa is not ready yet. So more than likely what we'll have to do, because it looks like it's probably a month or so off from being ready, the alfalfa. We'll probably either, depending on how much you know time we have left after this field and you know selling clothing and whatnot. But we also have the fields to... The spray. We'll rent one, but we won't uh, we won't return it right away. It'll probably be cheaper to hold on to it for a month or two, versus getting rid of it, then re-renting it again. And uh, I do want to say, since the premium edition is coming closer, maybe not super close at the time of release of this video, but. Unfortunately, with uh, my schedule of things, I can usually only do two series at a time. In you know four videos, there's some weeks I can easily do the four videos, and then there's other weeks I, I'm I'm struggling to get all four recorded and edited in that time frame. So it's like four is like the perfect amount. <laughs> Can't really do much more with uh, you know work and you know life in general. That means a series will have to end. And I really want to hit 100 episodes on Survival Challenge. And to be honest, Survival Challenge at 100 would be ending in December anyways. It's not really like that far away. So that means Court Farms will unfortunately be coming to a close. Likely after harvest time. Which, uh, it's probably kind of weird considering we just spent money on a production as I'm driving by it. That's kind of uh, an unfortunate part I've kind of noticed with series is we're, we're really getting into it and then able to buy productions and stuff like that. Towards that middle to end of the series, we're hitting, you know, episode 35 and we're finally able to, you know, buy things. We were at 25 when we finally bought our own tractor and planter and stuff like that. So if I'm going to more likely keep most of my series at that 30 episode range, 25, 30 episodes, outside of like some longer ones here and there, like Survival Challenge and stuff, that's kind of something you can very easily do for a very long period. So I think what I'll probably try to do, we'll probably start on the premium edition map first. I'm going to try and set it up so we're starting with different things and like we would normally start with to make it so we can progress a little bit quicker. So we can get to the point where we're able to buy a nice tractor and stuff at episode, you know, 12 instead of 25, 30. 
That way we're able to progress a little bit better. So yeah, this so I'm guessing it'll be around six more episodes. We'll be finishing out through harvest and then we'll obviously be selling everything. Um because I don't ever want to just leave a series, just randomly drop it. That's something I rather would not do. And I figured this would probably be the best time to end it if we're going to end it. Is where it'll be ending right after harvest. It's kind of, you know, ending towards the winter time. Which will actually... We'd be ending probably in like the June, the following month or some following year. Because um, similar to how I did Edgewater, I'll probably go through the months and try to sell things towards a higher price if I can, and make sure the cows and everything are out of food before I just you know go and sell them. So yeah, I'll probably be slowly finishing this series up in the in the background. Yeah, more than likely when this video go up, I'll be fairly close to, to kind of tying things up for, you know, recording. Um, so I'll be trying to get ahead to make sure, you know, I have an idea of where I should be at. Plus, I have the week prior to Premium Edition, I won't be at my computer more than likely that entire week. So I, I have to be ahead for that week as well. So I'm, um, I'm gonna get ahead eventually. Um, and much like I did with uh, Edgewater, I'll still keep the save at you know its peak, at its peak time. You know, probably before we start selling or right after we start selling things or something like that. I'll make a, a backup save. I'll keep it separate. Then if we want to go back and look at it or play on it again or whatever it may be, we could very easily do that. Well, dang, it looks like we're doing pretty good on this field. I, I honestly may not actually have to have a worker really work on it much. I think, how is the clothing price doing at value view? Uh, value view is going down. Tall trees is really good. Is that this one up here? It is. Uh, it would be a little bit farther of a drive, but not much. From value view, and we could get a little better price. Uh, I think it's this one to sell at. Yeah, you can see alfalfa next month. Yeah, and unfortunately, I see since I bought a bunch of fertilizer, we don't get to use that. Um, we can sell the seeds, it looks like, so we can resell that, but, uh, for the fertilizer, which is $25,000, probably more with the, what's in the planter, we won't get to sell. Well, I'm going to go to the telehandler. I do Doubt that other one is any close to being done. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough. To, uh, there's what, 50 liters of clothing left there? It's four liters to one liter. Not even 50. Yeah, in the, in the future, I will definitely try to make sure we're, you know, getting into productions and stuff earlier, and that where we're not doing it right at the end. And it's like I didn't really get to, you know, try out the production very much. I did that same thing with Edgewater. I think I did the sugar mill and dairy. It was like towards the. Where's the end by the time I finally did it? So I don't know if we'll start with more money or maybe we'll start with a production or something, but it'll, it'll be changed a little bit so we can progress a little bit quicker. 
Uh, namely, on the premium edition, I'll probably start with maybe some of the premium edition crops and stuff that are coming with that. Maybe a production from that. I probably should make sure I'm going to bring this to the right bay. So, yeah, because there, there is a price difference. Just a little bit of a price difference. We will take that. Uh, I, I hit tag. Oh, yeah, it doesn't tag it in there. So it's not this one. It's this one. All right, so here is Tall Trees. I always get this one mixed up with Town Stores. I always do. Never fails. I will get it mixed up. Now, I believe it is the back selling point. I believe it's it's like a $500 difference just, just by selling it here versus the one back there. Uh, we're going to try to make sure we avoid that one. It should be just over 31 and a half thousand. Yep, so that's definitely the right pay. I definitely think in the uh, future we will be looking to try to do more clothing and stuff. Because it does seem to be a very, very good product to do. Very profitable. Once you figure in, uh, like, wool. Wool is a fairly good profitable thing, right? But, like, you can make it into clothing, especially with the mod for the clothing factory. It's fairly, fairly cheap, right? It's like $60,000, I think, or $90,000. I think it's $90,000. But, you know, it's not too bad. And if you have it for a year, year and a half, it, you'll very easily turn a profit on it. Alright, we can get this probably pulled in over here and parked. Gotta try and dodge the chickens. They always just walk around like they own the place. Yeah, this uh, this won't take too long. So I'll probably go ahead and uh, start a time lapse. We should pretty easily, I would say, uh, get this done. So I'll talk to everyone once the time lapse is done. And just like that, we are just about done here. Just just that little bit left. I definitely think we'll uh, we'll be able to get into those fields and probably windrow them today. I would like to do it at least before. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Um, before the grass regrows too tall, because then we run into to issues where we can't always find it all and stuff. There's a little bit up here I missed, too. Yeah. I know I saw a comment about... Um, there's a mower with a conditioner. I, I don't quite remember exa the exact uh, 
um, words on that one or exact comment. I'll have to look look at it, but I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe there is uh, mowers that do that at the same time. I'll have to look. It might be a uh, Mace Plus thing, too. I don't remember. I feel like I remember something like that from there. Uh, yeah, it's definitely already started to, uh, to regrow. And next month, it would be... It would be actually you know, technically tall enough you can mow it again. We'd be two months removed from the last time then. So let's go and take a look at the windrowers. Uh, windrower, windrower, here we go. I think this is just the best, best deal. Um... That's really not that bad of a price, you know, per day. We might spend two and a half thousand dollars on, you know, in the work days, but not too bad for extra. A lot cheaper than buying one. Not sure what we'll be doing with the slurry, because we really don't have any more way to really use it. Really, there's no reason to use it. I might have to look at the possibility of getting a slurry tanker. I think you can get one that just transports it. I don't quite remember. <laughs> uh, it might be surprising, but it's been a while since I've really done much with uh, slurry. I really don't do much with it. So I'll have to uh, probably take a look at that. Well, actually, these actually support slurry. So we could take 20,000 liters at a time if we wanted to to sell it. Um, but yeah, there are there are a big tanker. I don't know where it's at. It might be a mod. I'm pretty sure there is a bigger one. And of course, these, which I'm pretty sure we can take and sell. Oh, here, this is probably it. That's probably it right there. But yeah, I guess our... Uh, water trailer would work I would prefer not to use that though Miss yeah in game it's fine but uh I don't think you'd do that <laughs> otherwise I don't think you'd put your slurry in there and then put your milk from your cows or put your water in there for your animals right afterwards maybe, maybe that's just me though so yeah, we'll probably be keeping this wind rower for a bit. I would uh, I would imagine at least. Tell me get the alfalfa done. Which we'll probably only do one more cut on that, which technically we could do more. More like we could do more cuts of the grass even, but we really won't need to and normally we wouldn't probably do extra. You know, normally for the grass, we do one more cut, and that would put us good till next year. Well, as always, this definitely won't take too long. Um, it'll definitely be less grass this time around. That's why I'm thinking, like, we sold it. It's not a huge deal. Um, and then we'll have, we'll have it on hand where we can sell uh, or we can make sure the cows are fed and then sell it probably in that December time it's more likely for the most part most things will probably be sold in the winter time and then we'll have June it would probably be field beans because sorghum will be this winter time. Canola would be this winter time. And even milk is. So for the most part, everything would be. Maybe, you know, clothing or something like that. I'll wait. Try to make sure they're, you know, the animals are out of food so we're not just wasting it. Um, which, with the, uh, 
With the chickens and probably the sheep might be difficult. They really don't go through much. Obviously, they have a very large capacity for both of them, really. Especially for the, the size of pen. You know, we have 50 chickens and they have a 10,000 liter food capacity. That's You fill that up, they're good for a year. Uh, with sheep, I mean, honestly, you could probably be good for a year, too, if you fill it all the way up. I'm not even sure what the top capacity is on that. It might honestly be 100,000 liters. Because I know Oxygen David did raise all those up a lot. Especially the chickens. I know the chickens would basically be you fill it in the morning. You fill it before you go to bed. And then you fill it in the morning again. Which is honestly probably... Yeah, probably pretty realistic if I remember correctly. Back when I was younger, I had chickens, so. If I remember correctly, it was about it was either once a day or twice a day you were feeding them. You know, topping off the feeder at least. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, short little time lapse. We'll finish up this field, which will take no time at all so I will talk to everyone once the time lapse is done it's so absurd to me things that you said they left to burn on me I can't find my way without you I can't find my way without you it's so absurd to me things that you said they left to burn well, we are just about done with the windrow in here. Just that little bit left. This is always the, the kind of awkward part of the field. Which doesn't quite line up for how big the windrow is. So I just have one really small uh, bit that's always left. Get this swung around over here. We'll probably leave this... I'm not sure. We can wait a little bit to pick this up. That, that is fine. Probably out, out there somewhere. Because once it's been windrowed, you kind of kind of have an idea of where your swaths are. They're tall enough. You can, you can tell what's different. I'll probably have to fix that one at the bottom, though. That does look a little low. A little bit all over the place. Yeah, you can see it's kind of all, all over the place. We might get a little bit from the side ones, but... I would consider that a job well done. Yeah, I think we'll park it. I don't really know what I'm hitting. I think I'm hitting that tree. We'll probably park this out here. Kind of out of the way, and we really don't have space for it in the yard. Well, anyways, that is about everything for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.